Hey everybody, welcome to the Nano Channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World videos. I think I finally got my office set up the way I like it. I got the camera angle the way I like it. I'm very happy, excited to be back in a mode where I feel like I can just crank videos out again. This is a cool new toy we're gonna be looking at today. It's the Pteranodon Copter Attack Set. This is a new Destructosaurs line. Now these have been seen in places like Mexico, I think even maybe Europe, for sure Mexico. Um, but they finally just hit walmart.com the other night. I was able to order one in, I think Friday night or Saturday, something like that. And it arrived yesterday. So I, yep, uh, being Tuesday, yesterday, Tuesday, September 17th, 18th? Either way, it's out. It's here. I want to get into this thing. It's not the first Jurassic Park helicopter we've ever seen. There was another back in 93 in the Kenner days. And you know what? We're going to compare them. We're going to see how they stack up to each other. I gotta say, I like this. Let's take a look at some close-ups here. Now on the outside of the box, in the top left, we have our Jurassic World logo. I think it looks pretty good, right? Like normal, the background, we've got the, the uh, volcano blowing up. You can see some close-up shots there of the helicopter, JW003. Helicopter's good size, better than I thought it would be. It does say magnetic destruction over in the corner there. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we drop down, you can see more of the thing. We, oh, look, down in the corner, there's Owen and Blue Buddy Cop. I like how big that is on this box. It says Pteranodon Copter Attack Set Destructosaurs. Let's spin this thing around. What's on the back? Oh, we've got the Jurassic World Facts app. Now, again, this app, if you scan the little code, which I'll show you in just a second on the bottom of the dinosaur, if you scan that code, uh, you can unlock this dinosaur, like a digital version of it. There's also really cool dinosaur facts and trivia. So it's a really cool app you should check out. Now as we go down further, it says magnetic destruction. It looks like if you put the beak, uh, which has a magnet in it, on certain points of the helicopter, it will break apart. Now what is this thing on the bottom left? It says sold separately, subject to availability. And it looks like a T-Rex with the mercenary we already have, and like a power transformer. I just wonder what the heck it does. What is that? Uh, what else? Oh, look! Look, zero to three sad babies approve of this toy and you know what i am not surprised at all uh you know mattel has been killing it with this line i keep saying this every video they are really killing it with this line of toys and you know this one may not be available on amazon but if you're liking any of these jurassic world toys any of the fallen kingdom toys anything like that at all uh, i put links down in the little description below and also sometimes i pin them in a comment uh, where you guys can buy stuff on Amazon. Those are affiliate links. So if you guys do any Amazon shopping and you use those links, I actually get a percentage of whatever you spend. It doesn't cost you anything extra, which is why I like it, but it's a real easy, cheap, and free way for you guys, if you're already Amazon shoppers, to support the channel. If you do any Amazon shopping at all, your normal stuff you buy, uh, if you use one of my links to start out with, again, I get a small commission. Oh, there we go. It's a little awkward to get that out, but it came out. Little instruction sheet. All right. I'm seeing instructions here. I'm seeing instructions. Contents, helicopter, feet. Like for the helicopter, not just random feet, that'd be weird. A door, a front glass piece, a little mercenary pilot man, and the pteranodon. Now this is a large pteranodon. Uh, one I haven't reviewed here, but one of the newer um, Roravores that came out is a big red pteranodon. It's the same thing, same model. It's just this one. I don't know that this one makes sounds. Definitely flaps its wings. We'll see. We'll see what it does here in just a second. It's telling me how to go into all this. I'm going to get my blade back out so I can snap these guys and cut them free. Okay, okay. We've done our plugs for the Amazon. We talked about merch. Oh, yeah, there's merch. I don't know if I mentioned that. There is shirts. Hmm, this is interesting. There's Oh, there's Hirsch. Oh, there's Hirsch. Something fell out. There's little twist ties on the back. Now these are fairly easy to figure out and get through. Um, but again, as I was saying, I've got shirts now on Teespring, which are a little bit cheaper than spread shirts. If you guys are interested, those are linked down below as well. Some of them are limited time designs because they're so they're cheaper. Um, so if you're interested in that or you have an idea for a design, let me know. I would be glad to either make it or if you've made one yourself and want to contribute, much appreciated. All right, what else have we got? I think I left my blade down here. Boom, boom. Oh my goodness, there's so many little pieces here. So many little tiny pieces. 
Oh, this little guy, mercenary. Come loose, mercenary. Come loose. Oh, the glass piece. Okay, last one. Last piece. Is that it? Everybody free? Everybody ready? Put our trash off to the side. Boom. All right. Cool. Let's get everything assembled. Uh, instructions tell me to put the feet on first, so I think I'm going to slot that little thing through there. Now you can kind of tell which way the feet go. There's definitely a front side and a back side, and those just clip right into place. Not bad. I like how that works. We got a little working. Is this a working winch? Yeah, 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 I like it. So you just kind of rotate this thing, and it does have this little working little hook where you can pull it down. Nice. And you can kind of reenact the scene from Fallen Kingdom, the very beginning. I mean, it's a little small of the helicopter compared to that one, but... Still, it's kind of a cool thing. Now, how do I get these blades to like come apart? Place the figure inside the cockpit is part two. Okay, I think I can do that. There's a little clip inside. There's a little bitty clip in there. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, it's a little hard to get him in there. I don't wanna like manhandle it. There we go. Good, put his little feet down. He's looking good. He's in there. Now, he won't exactly grab the stick because the stick's kind of far away. So he can't, like, realistically control it. But that's good enough for me. We wind that hook back up. Boom. All right, what else do I got here? Oh, I like this. Little handlebars on the hook. Next up, it says to place the windshield on. I think I can handle that. Very easy. Next, it says to place the door on. I'm pretty sure I can handle that. Again, this is, uh, so far, so good. I have heard that some people had some quality issues with theirs. Oh, it says press the button to spin the rotor blades. Oh, cool. So I like that. How do I, how do I shift them? I don't want to, again, I don't want, oh, good. You don't have to do much. I was just afraid of breaking it. Um, oh, yeah, you guys like that? Look at that. That's, that works, actually, and it's very, like, comfortable to hold that in your hand and push that and make it fly. All right, we're off to a great start. We're off to a really great start. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at our Pteranodon, whose wings full of, he's a big guy, look at that. He's a big Pteranodon. I like it. Look at that, that flight. Look at that flight going on. It moves really cool. It kind of reminds me of the drone. I really like that drone. Now, he is the same model, same like sculpt, as the, uh, oh man, there's metal in there. Interesting, there's a little metal in his mouth. But he's the same exact sculpt as the Roravores version, which in fact, let me reach back to the diorama. I've got one right here. So for comparison's sake, here we go. We've got both, one on this side, one on this side. This darker one is the, whoa. I have not actually reviewed him. Maybe I'll, I don't know if I will. I have another one that's new in box that I was gonna review. But let me know if you guys wanna see that. Do you wanna see me review this? I can do a review on him. Um, but also, this is the same skull, just different paint job. One chest has speakers, the other chest does not. Looks like they've got different codes on the bottom of their wings, interestingly enough. Head sculpts, same. No, you know what, the eyeball is painted differently. Ooh, the eyeball is definitely painted differently. Um, I don't know which one I like more. I Mm, interesting, very interesting. But it also, there's this little metal bar in the top of the beak of the new one. So I'm gonna put the old one off to the side. Let's try these features. I'm gonna put this beak. It says, open the dinosaur's mouth and break off the helicopter door. Okay, so yeah, press the button for wing flap in action. Right, it's doing, you guys can see that, it's flapping. I've, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break off the door first, okay? Let's see this happen. Hmm. Okay, mine's not working, interestingly enough. Oh, there it goes. It did, it just kind of like knocked it loose. Okay, I see how that works. How about this way? And it broke off the front, okay. Okay, so it's not like a super, super powerful, like blowing it off. Um, and you kind of got to like feel it out. And so you do have to open that beak though. That is a key, is you have to open the beak and you have to get it like right up in there. So let me see if I can do this backwards. It's kind of hard to do it without seeing what I'm doing. There we go. And it does, you kind of have to shake it loose. The uh, the front the little cockpit glass works a little bit better 
because the beak isn't in the way as much, uh, which I like. So we, this one should work a little easier. He'll attack it and go, Rah! and it does pop off fairly easily. All right, let's try that door one more time. I feel like there's gotta be a good way about getting this door, and then we'll do some close-ups. I'll show you guys some cool diorama shots. How about now? Rah! There it is. Did you see how that thing flew off? That, okay, that, that's how it's supposed to work. Let's do that again. One more time. Let's go at it from down here. He's flying in. Rah! You can just barely touch it to it and it'll knock it out. I like that. That's actually really cool. And we, I'll show you the close-ups here in a sec, but there's a lot of really neat details on this helicopter. I like it. There's a lot of cool dents. I like the color. Very Jurassic World. It's a good size helicopter. Is there anything else I need to know? Instructiones. They say touch, open the dinosaur's mouth, and break the cockpit shield. They show you pushing it to it, just like I did. Very self-explanatory. Uh, attach the figure to the long line using the hand grips. Oh, cool. It's just like it's just another way to use the toy. So let's let's take him out. Let's take the let's pretend that our Pteranodon with his upside down head flew in here and was like, ah, broke the door, right? Homeboy gets flung out. He's like, no, save me. He is going to grab this little hook down here. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's even ready to go. So you almost could reenact the very beginning of the movie. I like this. I like this a lot. This is really cool. All right, let's have the hook not face in its face so much. Oh, yeah, his little hand grips grab onto it. That's perfect. That is perfect. So you have a little guy swinging. You can have him on there. Things about to crash. Or the guy's like, come on, go, go, go. And you know what? This is... I mean, we're here. Let me, I gotta grab something else. All right, here it is. We've got him flying. We've got him flying. We've got him flying. He's about to get away. And nope, here comes the Mosasaur just to take him down. <laughs> love it. This is why I love these toys. I loved Fallen Kingdom. I love that they released this helicopter. Now, I do want to look real quick for compare. We kind of compared the two Pteranodons, so you guys have an idea with that. Um, I do want to compare the size and just the look of the old Kenner helicopter versus this newer one. Um, I can tell you, the newer one feels a little cheaper. It does. It feels, it's, it's basic. It's not like a super fancy helicopter. Um, but it's it's definitely basic, but I mean, just look at look at this thing. So the old one, of course, had these like weird military teeth painted on the side, which are super awkward, and I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, does have a firing missile? Still works. Still works. Very nice. Uh, I don't have the net on me. It's somewhere in storage. I hope still, but there is this little little net kind of thing you drop down, and it drops a net or you can use the net to hold a dinosaur in there. Um, there's also this little movable hook thing that drops this little hook. So it's very similar that it has that kind of hook for a character to hang on to, and then you can lift them up by pulling that back. Um, if you just flick your finger, you can hold it by the orange handle and you flick your finger and it kind of, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't work nearly as well as the other one, but I do, I love it. I've had this thing for a long time. I got this as part of like an eBay lot back in the late 90s. For comparison's sake, look at that. Look at that difference. Huge difference in size there. Major difference. Um, I've got Jurassic World logos on both sides. JW003, like I mentioned earlier. Again, the blades. The way the blades work is so nice. I'm sure you gotta keep pressing it, but that's just, okay, I gotta, I gotta do another demonstration. I just gotta, I wanna play with this thing. It's fun, to me this is fun. So you touch that, and it breaks the glass. Ah, not the glass! And then this one, this is, this is a hard one to do for me, because you gotta switch hands, kinda. You gotta switch hands. You gotta get your train down in there. Ah. There he goes, and it shoots right off. And then the helicopter, of course, crashes. We get a new, cool mercenary figure, which I, you know, at first I was like, well, I don't know that I that we're getting all these weird little mercenary characters that don't, like, they're not specific to any character in the movie. But they're totally good at background building for any kind of, like, the diorama that I have. I love killing off mercenaries in my in my videos. It's just fun for me, like, to play with them. There's another mercenary pack with the uh, Stiggy. 
it's just it's it's cool i think they look good they're unique looking mercenaries like i haven't had to double up on the other mercenary pack yet and there's even another one that just started hitting stores in southern california along with the zia figure so you know mattel keeps churning stuff out we still haven't found the spinosaurus that hasn't shown up anywhere but i i like this i like all of this this is all a lot of fun for me where's the glass there's gotta let's put it back together Let's show you guys what this thing looks like when you're actually playing with it, like in the diorama. And I'll be right back. guys i want to know your thoughts my thoughts are this is an a plus toy it was 40 dollars, 39.99 plus tax i think it came to like 44 or something after tax it wasn't much it wasn't much but uh, for what it is considering it's a vehicle vehicle i would value at around 15 to 20 i'd say even 17 is pushing it because it's a, like a big movie license right 17 bucks probably for that's what i would think maybe another seven or eight because that's how much the figures are so where are we at like 25 bucks this thing i value at the like 10 bucks that it's worth i think they charge a little more don't they for these things are like 11 or 12 because they usually make noise this one doesn't make noise so let's say 10 bucks 10 15 25 so you know i don't know that it's worth the full 40 it might be a little overpriced let's even jump this helicopter because it is a decent helicopter good sculpt cool features let's chalk it up to 20. I'd say, yeah, it's about a fair price then. You know what? To me, it's a fair price. We'll say 20 for the helicopter just because it's got cool mag magnetic features built in. It can hold a figure. It actually has moving blades. It looks good. It's a good-looking helicopter. This feature with the little winch is nice. I like that a lot. Lift this guy up. Get him to safety. There's even little foot pegs. I didn't even notice. There are little foot pegs on the sides of these rails. Okay. 20 eight so we're 28 bucks plus another 11 bucks for this guy because he's a big one he's got a good sculpt a nice paint job nicer than i thought it would be yeah i'm, I'm just gonna say i'm not doing the math but i'm just saying 40 bucks is fair i think that's totally a fair price for this toy <gasps> oh no yeah it's it's just good stuff but again like i want to know your thoughts is this a thumbs up for you is it a thumbs down for you but you got to tell me why that's that's what i want in the comments down below after you've rated this video you know you click the thumb up or thumb down Leave a comment. I want to know what your thoughts are. Some of you I haven't heard from in a little while, so it'd be nice to you know hear from you, see how you're doing. Also, you guys, you're my community. You're the sad baby squad in reference to the you know, zero to three sad babies that approve of most of these toys. Guys, I want to feature you in the vids. Some of you have reached out to me recently with some really cool pictures, stuff that you've created, a lot of cool Star Wars stuff. So I want to feature you in the in the vids. There's a sad baby squad Discord chat that I have. Uh, there's been a couple new faces showing up there too. Share your stuff there with me. Share it with me on Twitter or Instagram at Daniel Flores. Use hashtag sad baby squad. Got to make sure you're uh, public though. If your private your profile's not public, I won't be able to see it. Just the way it works. Uh, or just message it to me directly. That's fine. A lot of people do that, and it's been working out pretty great. But again, I you guys you guys are a real special part of what the Daniel channel is and what we do with these toy reviews. Uh, your feedback is just as important as mine, which is why I encourage you guys to rate the videos, to leave comments, to join on social media. You can even friend me on Facebook. Um, that's fine if you can find me. <laughs> but for real, if you guys want to do that, I'm available. I'm here for you. Even people will reach out to me with stuff not toy related sometimes, and it's kind of cool just to talk with you and be there for part of the community. So again, you know I love you a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I think that's it for now. So, you know, just gotta hold on to your butts and goodbye forever. Now, just because today's video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.